And in South Louisville, a statue of Buddha at a temple in the Louisville's Beachmont neighborhood has been vandalized twice. It happened once before the new year and then again last week. Arian Hardwit sat with the temple leader today as he turns the loss into compassion. It's hard to tell from a distance, but up close you can see what's missing from the Tuon Temple Buddha. Security cameras show the moment someone climbed the statue and knocked not one, but both hands off. Weeks before, its face was painted over around the eyes and lips. Temple leader Tai Hun Lee says it's only temporary, though. That reason something like that help me more practice and we easy for let go. We don't keep everything in. Impermanence is what they keep in mind as part of their Buddhist beliefs, represented by fruits and flowers on altars in the back. They sit below pictures of the people they pray for. Like here, some the member of the temple. Now they do want the statue to get fixed, but there's a couple things that'll slow that down. First, one of those hands fell in the frozen water here in the fountain. The other, they'll have to send both hands back to Vietnam for repairs. And it's unfortunate to see the hands missing, although the smile on the Buddha's face is still smiling at us. Joe D'Ambrosio came by the temple for his birthday. Tai is one of his former students, but now the roles are reversed as the monk teaches D'Ambrosio about Buddhism. The response out of compassion would be to feel pain for the person who did this to the statue, not the other way around, which is a typical way that we look at things in life here. Alongside the compassion, they're also practicing caution. Hi, you are currently being recorded. Extra cameras installed around the building will hopefully deter any more trouble. Whether it happens or not, they trust good karma will come back to them. In Beachmont, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11 on your side. The Vietnamese Buddhist Association of Louisville does offer their space for anyone who wants to come in. And we will have their hours and phone number posted for you right on whas11.com.